Talk us through the second goal and Locatelli, lovely left-footed strike. I mean, the defending leaves a lot to be decided, but the strike is, is excellent. It does. I mean, Italy, you said it was an easy win. I think it was hesitant at half-time to call Switzerland nice, but they are nice and you don't want to be a nice football team. Uh, their achievement, as we said, is just getting into the tournament. They don't believe that they can win a game against a big team. Um, and I don't think Italy were ever in trouble. Um, they're completely in control all night. I still, I think Patrick said before the game, you want to see Italy develop. The biggest problem for Italy could be that they're not going to be tested. I mean, maybe that game against Wales, you could argue because they're through, they might play a weakened team, but they might want to actually play the best team so they actually get a game because the two games they've had so far haven't been uh, a test for them. You know, look at Switzerland there, they're not getting out. Walking out the box, the ball goes back, it's embarrassing. Show some urgency, get out, close the space. I have to say, what Italy do really well, they make good runs. Immobile's run here takes away Elvedi and Froehler, and it just leaves that space at the edge of the box. He's still got a lot to do, Locatelli. The, the accuracy and the technique of the strike is absolutely brilliant. So take nothing away from him. But they were so superior tonight, Italy, and obviously deserved to win. It'd be fair to say you're quite irritated by the Swiss in midfield and their lack of intensity. Yeah, that would probably be an understatement. Mm. Yeah, I was... The one thing you want from your team, you, I'd forgive a lot of things on the football pitch, but for, for players not to show that intensity, we saw it with the last goal. Great example from Italy again for all their quality play. Walk rate, desire, and Switzerland giving up the fight. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty annoyed with them, I have to say. And then giving it up here, Patrick, as well. I mean, the game has gone... Yeah. But even here, it's sloppy from Switzerland, isn't it? It's really sloppy. Play the ball centrally. And uh, the striker losing the ball. Um, and then it was, of course, a really good, uh, good finish. And I believe that the keeper should do, uh, should do better. But the way that the two central back coming out and closing down Immobile was uh, with no commitment, with no conviction. And... Um, Lack of desire by this uh, Swiss team. But even the second and third goal, sometimes people think you've got the bodies back, but it's no good having the bodies back unless you engage, you know, especially when you smell danger. It's just lack of intensity and almost laziness with, with their attitude. Yeah, not often you're speechless, but I think you are almost. Yeah, with this one. Um, especially with the last goal. Yeah. What, what would your reservation be about Italy going deep in this tournament? I think the first two games that they played, it was quite a, a too easy game. I don't think they've been really tested. Um, of course, like Roy was talking about earlier on, you have to win what is in front of you. But I still have doubt that they can go into the end. Um, I believe that they are lack of uh, intensity, lack of uh, power, pace to, uh, to be even more dangerous going forward. So that, that I, I'm still going to wait. I think it's a bit too early. Mm. To, um, to, uh, to take um, Italy into a consideration that they can go into the end. Yeah, well, maybe they don't quite have the pace up front, but they're able to open teams up. We saw in the first half as well, Berardi down the right-hand side, Locatelli again making the run. Yes, not, not tracked, but they've certainly got something about them, Italy. They're, they're a good team. They're achieving the maximum. They, you know, they're, they're the opposite of Switzerland. They all work really hard. They all know their jobs. They're well-drilled. I just I agree with Patrick. I think they'll fall short. I know they're getting a lot of plaudits at the start of the tournament with the first two performances and everything that's been asked of them. But I do feel once they start to play against the better teams, they won't have enough. But they do everything that they do well. Like I say, Mancini's got them right. And um, they're a team that you know will give their all, which is absolutely critical here. You know, they've got good quality. Do you know what they do? They fill the areas. They fill the box. They've got midfield runners. You don't... Very few teams play with midfield runners always going forward. I think you made a point, Roy, to be fair. It's something that I always used to feel at a midfield. Now, this celebration reminded us of something, Gary, didn't it? Look at that. And lots of Italians were in touch to say this team would obviously would love to win the Euros or the World Cup, but it reminded us of one of their great moments. Marco Tardelli scoring in the 1982 World Cup final, which is probably the top five celebration. You were involved in one yourself with Gaza. That's in the top five celebrations of all time, that one as well. It's one we all remember. Um, and Locatelli, to be fair, he's, he's, he's done really well tonight. And they're, passionate. they're a passionate team, the Italians, and they represent the manager really well. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they do when they do come up against a good team. I'm just not quite sure about them.